<clears throat> good morning, good morning. Um, so I have a customer scheduled for 7 a.m. for this uh, mailbox changeout. They sent me a few pictures. Uh, apparently they had an aluminum one and it was cracked flush. So now all I see is concrete at the bottom. So I brought my farm jack and I started bringing a bunch of, uh, I have like three eighths and half inch cement anchors. They're uh, wedge anchors. So what I'm planning on doing is drilling them out, setting them in there, and then chaining it to the, bolting it to the chain, and then jacking up with the farm jack. The only problem I'm seeing right now, well, that's the first problem, but the second problem is now the ground's soft, because we had rain last night. So I brought some extra plywood I could put the farm jack on if I start sinking, which I know I'm gonna. Really hoping not I don't have to dig the cement out because I don't really like digging. I'll get you guys some shots. Oh yeah, this is uh for a customer of mine, so new customer. I think this is from my junk mail I've been sending out. I'll get you guys some shots. So here's the culprit. You can see where the post was. They cracked there. We have uh, concrete around here. If I can drive something in there and then uh, yank this pig out. Brought extra hardware for this thing in case this thing breaks on me. Oh, God. I don't destroy no flowers. Something like that. Something like that. I'm probably gonna move it. Let's we'll see. I'm gonna try a 3 8 anchors first. If I can even get this thing even opened. So bad at opening. Uh, what do you wanna call it? packages a little baby drill okay oh that's not good I don't got much concrete uh, that's not good oh bad Battery's broken. That's the bad thing with the M12s. Batteries love breaking. Especially when you drop them. It's not concrete.
see what we got. Be good. My washer's way down there. Forget it. Gone and lost forever. I just pounded it down now. I have enough room. There we go. Really doesn't even matter if I put the two in here the way I did it. It's not even gonna pull it equally. I probably should add a hook right here. Doesn't matter. <sighs> Work is it? Uh, well, if this doesn't work right now, I'll just maybe go to plan B. I'll probably take this hook off and put it in the middle. Maybe give myself more slack. Yeah, we'll try this out. I don't feel like keep on, keep redoing it. See one problem now. Well, this ain't nothing. <laughs> I'm over here freaking out for nothing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there goes my anchor. We slid out. So much for these. The wedge, the wedge anchors too are supposed to be the strongest. Oh, actually, <laughs> oh my God. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I didn't even set the anchor. <laughs> and it still came out. I love it. No, it's not going to work. It's too early for this. Too early.
Yeah, it's because I goofed it all up. Yeah, I already started goofing the hole up. It's already cracked. There's not much concrete. I should probably just dig this out. I'm just wasting my time. <laughs> just over here playing with myself. Yeah, I got really burned pretty bad on a couple of a couple of posts back. Uh, they had so much concrete in there. I couldn't even pull it out with the anchors. That's why I'm like, anytime I see concrete, I'm like, this thing's gonna be so hard. Obviously not. I should probably dig it out pretty easy. So I'm done digging now. I tore out a bunch of rocks. It was actually more painted butt than I thought. We're already deeper than the last mailbox by a long shot. They're saying you shouldn't bury it more than 24 inches. But as deep as, as, deep as I can get it, there's a rock all the way at the bottom, just like covering the whole bottom up. So I'm just gonna set this thing and forget it. And actually I might come more forward because now I'm a little further back. I'm going to dig this out right here. And then we're going to set that post. I'm going to put some dirt around here. And then compact it down. Dirt and rocks. I'm going to fill a little bit at the bottom so I can hold the post, but you know what I want. I should probably cut this post down. I have an idea though, I might just use bigger rocks to hold this thing steady. Because this concrete sets fast. Even if I got to hold it now. I use a sludge hammer. Pack it down. So I got this instant set post. It sets in like 10 minutes. So they want one gallon of water, but just put three quarters of a gallon of water at the bottom. So this is a gallon. So that's three quarters right there. Put this at the bottom of it. We're gonna cut this. Put this all the way around. Pour a quarter. And then start compacting. Or, um, like I said, I guess shake it. Because, you know, this is no mixing required. But I guess I'm kind of mixing it. And obviously, I'm going to start to make sure this thing's level. So I used uh, one and a half bags of concrete. Then I just put the dirt back on. This is for the top right here. This is gonna be for the bottom for the post. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the post. I'm going to say right here. And we'll go. We'll go higher. I like that. Really? That looks standard. That is not stainless. I'm just using these uh, deck screws. They're coated. Don't have any black screws, but at least these won't rust. And they're not silver. They're not zinc. Done. All done. And that's a wrap.